Mike for Sue to go ahead. Then you're just going to put the uh, balance and time of possession and running game on the back burner and go five wide, empty the rest of the way? You know what? Um, just really proud of the way the guys fought, um, you know, and, and, and just played good football. Uh, we, we didn't – we didn't do what we wanted to do today. We didn't control the ball, like you said. We didn't convert on third downs a lot, but um, we found a way to win. We just gotta, we gotta stop making it, um, you know, stop playing so ugly on offense. But it's a good team. I don't, I don't care what their record says. I was talking to Al afterwards and said that might be the best pass rush defense and stuff that they got after today. So give them a lot of credit. Gary Dulac. Hey Ben, I know that the situation where you're down 13 nothing kind of dictates uh, as such. When your running game is struggling like that, I mean, do you get to the point where you figure, hey, I got I to gotta go out and do this and throw the ball and, and, and take matters into your own hand? Do you feel that way at all? Um, you know what? There was, you know, some situations. Uh, end of the first half, obviously, it's kind of a two-minute drive, so you're going with a no-huddle type feel. Um, second half, uh, after the first drive, I think we went three and out. Uh, we, we went to that same package we went to last week, that kind of um, four wides and a tight end. And um, just kind of said, listen, let's let's just go to work. And, and the, the line blocked. And, and I'm just, like I said, I can't I can't say enough about the skill guys, the way that they're able to to, to do things on the fly and the line block in. And uh, I'm just really proud of everybody. Dale Lawley. Ben, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but uh, Dallas was the site of your your first fourth quarter comeback, and then you come back and get this one today. Uh, what is it about you and, and being able to, to be come out or come up big in those kind of situations? What, I think I have almost 50 now. You know, I just don't want to, I don't want to let my guys down. Um, you know, I think that so many times the line and, and guys are looking at me on the sideline. They're like, all right, Ben, we, you know, we, we believe in you. And so I just don't want to let them down. So I want to give everything I have um, and fight. And I, listen, I wish that we didn't have that fourth quarter comeback. So I wish that I played better early in the games or, we were up and didn't have to do it, but, um, you know, it's the way it is. If, if we have to have a situation like this where we have to, to score late or, or, you know, win in the fourth quarter, then as long as we win, we'll take it. Brooke Pryor. Then you had the knee injury there toward the end of the first half. What happened there and what, what were you worried about not being able to come back in and do you have to make any second half adjustments to kind of, to deal with that? Yeah, the guy just – someone hit me right on the side of the knee. Felt like it kind of bent my knee a little bit. Um, you know, it's part of the, the game of football. You guys get, get hit all the time and uh, just had some discomfort. And so we thought at the end of the half we'll, we'll head in again and looked at And Doc just wanted me to keep him updated the second half. And so I was, um, you know, just keeping it loose and keeping it warm. Joe Rutter. Yeah, Ben, is there anything you can pinpoint for these slow starts the last few weeks? Uh, I just need to play better. Uh, I'm not converting the, the throws that I need to, and um, I'll, I'll take the I'll take the blame for that. I need to play better in order to, for this team to start faster and, and try and get a lead. Mark Caboli. Hey, Ben, can this be used sort of as a, a teaching tool to maybe some of the younger guys that you're 8-0 and, and there's probably not going to be any easy games because you know you got the bullseye on your back. Can you guys use that in some way? I hope so. I mean, it's something we'll talk about that – um, you know, it's the NFL. There's no easy games. Um, we're the Pittsburgh Steelers. We know everyone's come, coming for us. Um, if you didn't know who uh, – I'm not trying to take any shots at anybody, but if you didn't know who America's team was, you should have seen the stands and all the, the terrible towels. Um, Dallas may be uh, America's team, but we'll be the world's team because we got fans everywhere and they're the best in the world. Jeff Hathorn. Ben, can you describe the effort by Eric Ebron on that touchdown? And has he been everything that you had hoped when he signed here? You know, he's one of the guys that I, when I say the skill guys that I'm, I'm proud of, I mean, I'm moving him around. I mean, he's, he's playing outside spots. He's playing inside spots. And on that play, uh, when I called it, it really was more of a, a, a thought to he's going to run a flat and maybe he'll pick up five or six yards. And, uh, you know, same thing as usual, get the ball out of my hands to get in the playmaker's hands. And as soon as he caught it, he turned it up. And I was, I was excited that we were going to at least just, you know, pick up some yards and, Next thing you know, he's being a freak athlete and jumping people and scoring. So I was happy for him. A couple more, Will Graves. Ben, the, uh, each of the last three weeks now, the camera's kind of caught cut to you at the end of the games, and you have this sort of look of weariness and exhaustion. I'm just sort of curious, you know, how emotionally draining has these uh, 
first eight weeks been and how do you try to stay sharp, uh, you know, especially knowing the, the circumstances are just going to keep getting higher and higher? Yeah, I joke. I feel like I'm too old for this stuff. <laughs> My body gets worn down and, uh, you know, the emotional roller coaster that are these these games the last couple of weeks. But we keep winning and having fun with these guys. That's all that matters. I just want to want to play and win for them. Dejan Kovacevic. Ben, do you have any reason to be concerned about the knee moving forward? No, I'll be fine. Thank you for asking. Final one, Jerry Dulac. Hey, Ben, I know it's probably not as easy to come out and say I'm going to throw the ball to Juju, but on that one drive where he scored the touchdown, I think he had four passes to him. In fact, I think all your completions on that drive were to him. Any concerted effort to get him the ball there, or is that just kind of the way it worked out? He's a playmaker. He's a guy I trust. He's a guy I know is going to make plays when you put it um, put it in his area. And he showed that again today, that, that he's a guy that just battles. I mean, he's a competitor. He's a warrior. And um, I'm just so happy to have him on my team. And, and I just love him as a teammate. And, um, you know, he's fun to play with. He's fun to watch play. All right. Thanks, Ben.